Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Dyson BP01 purifying fan, uh, or as Dyson call it, the Pure Call Me purifying fan. And what I want to do is just really to show you some of the features and benefits that it offers and why going for something like this could be a better investment than going for a normal fan. So just to cover the contents of the box, first of all, obviously we've got the fan. The other thing we've got is the mains lead, it does need to be plugged in. And the lead on here measures 1.7 meters long. And the last thing is the remote control. I'll cover this in a bit because once we've got it all connected then I can show you some of the features on here. So the dimensions on this fan are 40 centimeters high, 24.7 deep and 25.4 wide. So it's a nice compact design. The main idea of this model is it is designed to purify the air for a single person. It's not designed to purify a whole room. There are other models in the range that can do a much better job of doing that. But the idea of this is you sit on a table or a desk next to you and you have uh, basically the fan and the, the cooler air coming towards you rather than trying to do a number of people. So the concept of this fan is that it has a HEPA filter going all the way around. I'll show you that in a moment. And it is designed to capture apparently 99.95% of gases and pollutants that are in the air. So if you do suffer from different allergies or if you live in a city where you've got say, exhaust fumes around you, then this can really, really help to get rid of those pollutants. So using the remote control to switch it on, you've got the top left button there. I'll just show you that. And what happens when you first switch it on, you have got a really nice colour display on the front. And with this, this can go from 1 to 10. Keep it up too high because that can make it quite loud on the, the camera. But basically what that does is it, uh, it does really make a difference and what you can also do is when you're sitting in front of it you can actually direct it as to where you're sitting. So all you do is you push that either up or down. It's probably a little bit difficult to see and you don't really get the benefit of this but it has got a little diagram on the side there that shows you so depending on where you push it, it will depend whether the air comes down here or comes more towards it, slightly, slightly higher up. So the next thing to show you on the remote control is that button. And what you can do is you can actually rotate it. So you just press that button and as you can see now, it's actually rotating left to right. And it goes up to 70 degrees, so it is quite a a good angle that it's rotating at and if you want it in a certain position then you just press it to stop and that will stop there. The next thing to show you is the timer function and uh, that's this button at the bottom here so when you press that you've got a timer and this will basically turn off in 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, four hours or even eight hours so if you wanted to, you can have it on for eight hours, say during the night when you're asleep, and you can see that's counting down at the moment. And then it will just turn off automatically when it's finished. So with these fans, it is important to keep it well maintained. And on the remote control here, at the top right, there's an I button for information. And if you press that, what that will do is that will actually show you the status of the filter. I'll show you the filter in a moment inside, but just on the side here, and um, obviously clearly because this is brand new, then the filter itself is, is fine. I'll just show you that again. And it's a fantastic little display, but that shows it's a, a green tick, so that this at the moment is, is fine. And what you'll find, if it is, apparently, if it is on every day for 12 hours, you'll need to replace the filter inside after about 12 months. So for most people, you might not be using it every day. So you know, for that case, it wouldn't need replacing as often as every 12 months. But really the key is to keep an eye on that display. I'll just show you one final time. 
you just press the I button and it will show you when it needs replacing and apparently even if you don't press the button it will recommend when it needs replacing. Now to change the filter on the Dyson fan all you need to do, you've got two clips in the side here, press those in and the top part is lifted off. Within here you've got the filter and you've got two little tabs just pull the whole filter out and there's nothing really you can do with this the, the only thing you can do is to get a new one and I will provide a link below to show you where to get one at a good price and really the idea is don't try to wash it or, or do anything with it just replace it and then when you get the new one it just drops in like that as you see you've got the, the two tabs there and then once you've got that in just that just clicks back on the top just be really careful and just make sure it clicks and that these parts pop back out and then you're ready to go again if you're thinking of purchasing one of these fans I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price I hope you enjoyed the quick video on the Dyson BP01 Pure Call Me fan please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.